crony capitalism is more like an ugly capitalism or more a collectivism or a form of collectivism? This first question and the second question. Yeah, the one, this is the hardest, the harder one. And the simple one is uh, any chance of seeing in the near future your debates with Ben Shapiro or anything like this? Uh, Yes. Because oh, he's a big fan of this so Judeo-Christian yeah, so morality, and that would be very interesting yeah, to see. Make a good debate. So Ben, if you're listening, um, yeah, I mean, he's said that he's interested in debating. So I think I think it's going to happen, and I think it's, it, it'll be a lot of fun because he's smart, and it'll be interesting to see what he says when I say what I say. Um, I don't think he ha has an answer, but that's the reality. But he's smart. So I think that's going to happen. Again, I don't know when. And I don't know if, you know, let's assume he doesn't chicken out. Um, I certainly will not. That I will guarantee you. Um, in terms of cronyism, so first, there's no such thing as crony capitalism. Never use it. Never talk about crony capitalism. Cronyism is a feature of statism. It's crony statism, but all statism is crony. There is no non-crony statism. And why is that? Capitalism, as I said earlier, is a, I, I, the feature of capitalism is a separation of state from economics. If you separate state from economics, there can be any cronyism. Because the state has no control over business, and business has no interest in the state, because the only interest this business has in the state is what? Is the fact that the state has control over the business. I'll give you a great example. In uh, the mid-1990s, Microsoft, Bill Gates is Microsoft. You know how much they spent on lobbying, you know, crony activity in Washington, D.C.? How much money did Microsoft spend? Zero. Yeah, exactly zero dollars. Nothing. No cronies. No lawyers. No presence in Washington, D.C. Nothing. Nada. They left Washington alone. And the politicians got really pissed off because in those days, Microsoft was the biggest company in the world based on my market cap. Largest company in the world, and they were not lobbying. Or put it another way, they weren't bribing any politicians. Right? They were really rich, and they weren't give, handing out anything. So Microsoft was invited to Congress. Did you see uh, Zuckerberg in front of Congress? Yeah. Yes. So this is the mid-90s. It was Microsoft in front of Congress. And the Microsoft executive sat there, and Congress, the congressman said, you have got to start lobbying. Indeed, this Republican, actually a Republican who was in the hearings with Zuckerberg, he's that old, um, from Utah, right? a senator from Utah, he stood up. He's a Republican. He stood up and he, he yelled at them. You guys have to start lobbying. You need to have a presence in Washington, D.C. You need to build a building in Washington, D.C. You need to have a presence here. In other words, he said, you've got to stop bribing me. He, he didn't say it that way, right? You don't do that in America. And Microsoft said, we're not interested. You leave us alone, we will leave you alone. We're not interested in lobbying. We're doing fine. We're the biggest company in the world. What do we need you for? All right, they went home to Seattle. Six months later, knock on the door. We're from the Justice Department, and we're here to sue you for antitrust violations. Now, what was the crime that Microsoft committed that violated antitrust regulations? They were doing what? What were they doing? Anybody old enough to remember? They were giving away Internet Explorer for free. <gasps> for free? How dare they? Because I was, you know, I was work using Netscape. You don't know even who Netscape is, right? Netscape was a browser. You download it, and you had to pay $79 to use a browser. It was the only browser. There were a few browsers. You had to pay for all of them. Today, I mean, 
if anybody charges you on the internet, you go, ban that site. <laughs> but before, you paid for everything on the internet. So I used to pay $79 for my browser. Microsoft said, we're going to give it to you for free. So Netscape went to the government and said, uh, this isn't fair. Unfair trade practices to give away something for free. It's called dumping, right? And that's why they were sued. But really the reason they were sued was what? They weren't lobbying. Guess how much Microsoft spends today? They spent 20 years under government supervision. That was the agreement. They had a government bureaucrat at Microsoft supervising every decision they made for 20 years. A few years ago, finally, the guy left, right? They, they, they left. So how much do you think they lobby today? They spent tens of, of millions of dollars, tens of millions of dollars. They built this wonderful, beautiful building in the middle of Washington, D.C., about equal distance from the White House and from Congress. And everybody can see it's the Microsoft building. We are here. And now they leave them alone. Google, from day one, has been spending the money around because they saw what happened to Microsoft, and they know this is how you stay clean. Facebook hasn't bribed the right people. I mean, they don't call it bribes in America. They call it lobbying, and they call it all kinds of things. But it's the same thing. And all of this because the government has control. It starts with politicians. It starts with statism, regulations, and controls. So if you want to get rid of cronyism, you have to get rid of government regulations, government controls. The smaller government is, the less cronyism there is. So cronyism is a feature of the big state. Cronyism is a feature of statism. It's not a feature of capitalism. Capitalism is the elimination of cronyism. So I would argue, I would never use the term crony capitalism. It's crony statism or cronyism. I use cronyism. It's the system where the st state and business are hand in hand. But that's because the state has guns and business has no, not much choice. And then it figures out that it can manipulate the system. It figures out that it can benefit from having an ally with guns. But that's not how businessmen make their money you know, in a free market originally. That's, that's a consequence of government power.